What's going on YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to improve frame rates and performance on Escape from Tarkov. As some of you know, I recently started playing this game and I love it, but couldn't get over the fact that I could only play two maps, which are Woods and Factory, over 30 FPS constantly. So I searched for a fix on Reddit, just wherever I could find um, just a bunch of tip guides, and these have helped me immensely and made the maps playable without any stutters. I'd also like to add that my uh, hardware, I have an i5-6500, an RX 480, 8GB, and then also 8 gigabytes of RAM. I would also like to say that Escape from Tarkov is still really early in development, meaning it's very unoptimized, which some of these tips, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a warning right now, they might not even help you because of how unoptimized this is, but in my case, they did help me improve around 10 FPS in all areas of the game. Um, so which, in, when you get 30 FPS and you're getting that 10 FPS boost at all areas, that's a huge, huge advantage. But anyways, let's get off into this video. Okay, first off, install CC Cleaner, which I will leave an app, uh, leave a download link down below. But I love this app, it's super easy to use and free. No, I do not want to download. Thank you, though. I'm too lazy to download, uh, keep updating. But basically, the first thing you're going to do when you get in here is launch and run cleaner. You just click OK there. I've already done this, so I'm probably not going to have a lot. I did do this earlier, and I deleted 200 gigabytes of history. So if you guys, but but I'm going to give you guys the warning. For you Pornhub watchers or someone that, you know, you guys like to keep that porn on there and that history, keep that, you know, you like to keep that link on there. If you run this, it's going to delete that, and you're not going to be able to find that link again. All right? Just giving you guys, I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know about what you guys watch. Just letting you know. This is going to clear up a lot of space on your computer, and it's just going to help everything run better. I'm going to go down here to Registry Cleaner. Um, we're going to click Scan for Issues. So um, shouldn't have a lot since I have I haven't done this today, but I have uh, have done it recently. So this is just going to go through and find all the all the issues you have in your registry. Click Fix Selected Issues. I don't back up. I don't feel like there. I don't think there's any reason to back up changes to the registry. So I click No, and then click Fix All Selected Issues. And then done. Simple as that. That's going to help improve performance immensely right there. Okay, second, this one seems like common sense, but a lot of people may forget to do this. Update your drivers frequently. Many times AMD or N NVIDIA will release drivers for, for a specific game, which only makes sense to update your drivers frequently as you don't want to miss one of these updates that could possibly improve performance. I know myself, I was behind four updates, and uh, when I updated my GPU, I noticed much better FPS and like a lot less stutters in the game. It could have been because I changed my other performance issues, but anyways, you you got to just update your drivers. It's super easy to do, and uh, I recommend putting it on like automatic. I didn't do that until recently, so yep, let's move on to the next one. All right, thirdly, we are going to type in the search bar, Escape from Tarkov. I have Windows 10. I'm not, I don't even remember how Windows 7 works. I know there was a search bar. It should come up. This is kind of for Windows 10 here. It might still work. Okay, you don't want to launch it. Screw that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Escape from Tarkov, do not launch it. You gotta right click it. Open file location. So it's in your file. You can also get there from documents to Escape from Tarkov. I just found that a little easier. So then you go down to properties, um, hit compatibility, and then you go down here where it says override high DPI scaling behavior, and just click that. Make sure you click apply on that. But um, I can't take credit for this one as I've seen it on a Reddit post, but I did notice performance when aiming down sights, like with a four times scope. Um, a lot of the times for me, when I have a scope on, when I aim, I would get like a quick stutter and then someone would run pat like they'd move out of the area and I'd lose them. So with this, uh, this enabled, it stopped doing that for some reason. I don't know exactly what it does, but it did help me a lot. Um, I also have read on Reddit that, um, some people notice negative performance with it. So if you do notice negative performance with that, just unclick that. Just, I would recommend trying this one setting first and seeing what that does for you. Okay, guys. Um. Basically, the last thing we're going to do here, we're going to open up Task Manager. Uh, we're going to go to Details right here. Um, Right-click where you find Escape from Tarkov. Where are you at? Uh -huh. One tip for you guys. Launch the game first. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. I'm not very smart. Okay. So, boom. Escape from Tarkov should be here. Okay. Got it running. Go to Properties. Don't go to properties. It's a joke. Set priority. Okay, so you see how this is. Uh, this basically sets a priority for your game. I recommend putting this on above normal or high, as it it'll it'll allocate more memory just for this game. Okay, it it puts it up a higher process for your CPU and everything. 
I don't recommend real time as I that might put too much stress on on your parts or something. I don't know exactly how that works. I'd stay above normal or high. So I'm gonna click. I'm actually gonna do above normal, just to stay on you know, um, the the safe side of it. All right, let's move on to the in game settings now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're gonna we're in in game settings now. So we're in the game menu. So I searched for a long time um, on Reddit. I, once again, you gotta find everything on Reddit, guys. It's it's simple. But um, just basically for the best quality performance as I could, I also did tons of testing by myself. Um, no one wants to play a game, especially like as one as immersive as Tarkov is at a super low setting. It just doesn't, it just doesn't, you don't feel like you're there, you know what I mean? It helps a lot when you're playing at at least decent quality. So let's move through here. Um, V-Sync off, turn that off. Um, this doesn't matter as we're going to customize it anyways. So texture quality. First thing here, I personally put both of these on high when I play. So I'm going to go through with these with you. I put them on high. They don't have a huge hit on your performance. I mean, it, it can hurt a little bit. Shadows more often than textures. But I like to I like my game to look good, and I'll, I'll sacrifice a little performance for it. It's still playable with what I get just from doing all the other stuff, so that's very good. Uh, put, that up, put those on high is what I do personally. You can test these around, but it gives you that quality to performance aspect that you need. Object level of detail. Um, keep this on two. The uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, developers of the game actually actually said that this is more optimized on two, so I keep it there for a reason. Overall visibility. This one um, this is kind of a hit or a miss with uh, certain certain computers. If you're not planning on doing any sniping or anything like that, if you're not planning on seeing people across the map. Keep this on 400. This this will hit this this right here. This 600 meters. That's gonna hurt your performance. I I promise you that. I keep it on 400. I can still see um, where I need to see because most of the, most of the fights in this game are gonna be close range anyways. But if you're gonna be sniping or something and you don't mind taking a little bit hit on performance, bump it up to a thousand to two thousand. Anywhere in between this range, 1500 being a good medium. Thousand meter. That's a pretty long shot. So, but if you're playing like factory or something like that, this doesn't even matter. But I recommend if you're if you're really struggling with performance, put it on 400. All right, let's move on to visibility, shadow visibility. Um, for me, I keep this on 40, just because I like to be able to see kind of further away. And if I someone's hiding in the shadows in a bush or something, I like to be able to see them. With this this check down to 40, I have a better chance of that. These next four, I turn all this off. This this is huge huge impact to your performance. I found it to never do anything except lower my performance. It doesn't really, I mean, it helps, it helps graphics, but I mean, it can drop in some cases. I had 10 to 15 frame drops. Like I was getting less than 25 FPS in some areas with these settings on. Sharpen, eh, doesn't really matter I, and that I know of. I just keep it at 7.7. .7. And then these all down here, um, just click them off. Noise, whatever. Um, I keep that on, but these, these three, just click those off. Make sure to hit save after you're done. So that's that's basically it, guys. That's the guide. I hope this helps you guys increase your FPS. I really do, because I have had problems and I really love this game and I I'd love to see where it's gonna go. But as I stated before, it probably won't increase your FPS drastically just because of optimization, opt optimization, huh? Optimization, but it will help in most cases. If I left anything out though, comment below and let me know. Also, if you did enjoy the video, just make sure you hit that like button as this took me a little while to make. I had to do a lot of tinkering in the settings, a lot of research. But uh, just, just remember though, if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe, all right? We just hit 100 subs on this channel and it's really cool for me. Um, but anyways, if you guys wanna watch some of my other videos, don't, don't be scared to do that either. Leave likes, leave comments on those. Thanks for tuning in though. Peace guys.